So anyway, if you guys um, are looking to do a track day, we're planning on an April the 3rd, Willow Springs, as usual. Yeah. It's been a while since we've been to Button Willow. We were looking at doing streets again because it's even been longer since we did that. We actually did, went and did some testing over on the streets, and they've actually made a lot of improvements over there with grooming the uh, dirt up to the edge yeah, for runoff. Nice, yeah. A lot less chance of damaging your car, etc. Um, but after doing it, we were just concerned about not being enough passing. It's just a, not many straightways. They're just the tight. one straightway, really tight, which makes for a lot of fun uh, and, a, and a big difference from the big track. But um, it's just you get, end up getting stuck behind people yeah. and just parading around there. So that kind of sucks. So the big I guess track we'll just kind of go back to the big track. And the big track has got the front straight that we can drag race down. And not yeah. just drag race during the, the event because, we, you know, that's kind of, that's fun. But Well, yeah, we can have the drag race thing on. A full that. on lunchtime that. red rag drag race. So, taste of that. Well, it's definitely good stuff. This one's kind of bland. Taste of this one. Let me see. Mmm. Yeah, I think I think I like the high octane better. That's I think you have the acetone. Yeah. That's is that the race fuel? This is the race fuel. Yeah. Okay. The, can't you tell the sweetness? The race fuel's got a sweetness to it. Okay. My favorite. Yes. Now um, we're going to talk about drag racing. I was thinking about just. Going ahead and doing a drag race for at lunchtime, and yeah. then we could do like a purse for first place, a smaller purse for second, etc., cetera, etc., cetera. and do like a little bracket race. That sounds like a good idea. But the only thing is, uh, I'm pretty much going to win it. I mean, Why? It's not. It was just not necessarily. It's not won until uh, you win it. Yeah, but I mean, I, I got an AMC. I got an AMC, and I'm going up against some Mopars. Don't you think it's pretty much a given? Okay, but here's the deal. How? What is there going to be some Fords in the mix? Because I'll take them too. Are you, is your car going to be ready? It's ready right now. I got a new dipstick in. Yeah, but that took three weeks to get the dipstick in. What that are you doing about matter. that? You still have to put the springs in it in the front. It doesn't need springs. You mean that brakes? Doesn't need brakes, dude. It's oh, that's drag right. It's drag racing. Yeah. yeah, it's drag racing. Do we need any of that stuff for drag racing? What are you going to do about the springs? Oh, that's good weight transfer, the way it's sitting up yeah, three inches right sitting now. sitting three inches high in the front? That's, that's weight transfer. James uh, said his dad's good to go, and I told him, you know, if he wanted, we can do a three-way call just to confirm yeah. so he doesn't double book. Drag raceologist. Yeah. Well, cool, I think that pretty much covers it. I think we're going we're gonna to be drag racing. I can't wait. It's going to be cool because it's going to be old school. Someone's going to have the uh, red rag. Throw down the red rag. We're not going to use a light, right? No, no lights. There's no electricity involved. Yeah. It's all about hand. It's all hand signals and people jumping up and down and that sort of thing. Yeah, it's going to be like 1950. Yeah. At the uh, airport. You know what I wonder is if we'll have anybody that just tows a car in that's not even street legal and that's just a total full drag on drag car. race car. <laughs> That'll be interesting. Have you have to bring something tugged out there that's really loud? Then we'll see what happens to your guaranteed first place that you're predicting. Oh, um, well, yeah. He'll probably break. I mean, that's just much. It's a given, dude. The AMX is pretty fast. I mean, it's got to run at least a 14 second quarter mile. Yeah. There's going to be some fast new cars, you know. There's. Yeah. The Some of the Challengers. The that Nissan, that uh, GTR, I think it is. Those are pretty fast. Oh, we got one of those coming up, huh? Probably, I don't know, Dan usually comes and then, uh... Oh, that, <laughs> that Nissan. No, 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 there's the guy that used to have the Corvette. Oh, okay, he's got one, one of those guys GTRs. Got the, okay. Is it a GTR, that new it's Nissan? It's the Skyline thing. It's a Skyline thing. Does it say that on it? No, but it's a, it was Skyline in Europe, and they, when they brought it over, I think they call it the GTR now. Is a Nissan based out of it's Europe all-wheel all drive. Well, Japan. It started in Japan. Yeah, that's right there. By you. It's it. right off the shore of Europe. It's attached to it. Yeah. Somehow or another. Uh, well, Under the ocean. Yeah. Under the ocean, it's still on um, the same planet. I mean, it's close to it. Japan. Might as well be Europe. You know, and we usually, there's usually a Ferrari or, and the, there's a... Yeah, Ferraris are great drag cars. You know, an Aston Martin, you know, Excellent some of that, car. those high-end sports cars. And then, and then we've got 
the king of the desert out there, Sean, with his Sean, crazy no, that's Daytona. Right. Daytona. You never know. You never know what he's going to do. You know he'll want to do it. Oh, he, I can guarantee you. He's and that car is fast. It's some, you know, yeah. he might, he might do something special. Well, maybe It'll we'll be inter it's going to be entertaining. It's going to be fun. I think it's, it's going to be entertaining and really, who cares as long as we're having fun. And that's we're all going to win because we're all going to have a yeah. good time. Eat that right, Pippi. Can you speak? <coughs> that's what I thought. Yeah. <laughs> um. What do you think? You know, there's a lot of guys that have cars that I think love coming out that don't come out. Uh, I think, I, you know, you can't really know what these dudes are thinking. Why they wouldn't want to come out and have a good time with their car on the racetrack. You know, maybe they just... Well, we've had guys come maybe out... Maybe they just don't understand. We've had several guys come out in their pickup. They had an awesome time. I came on. We've day. had several, yeah, that's right. We had several station wagons. Guys brought out just their family station wagon. They had an awesome the time. The guy in the Charger that had the skinnies up front and the meat. Oh, and he had the BF Goodrich drag radio yes. in the back and said, yes. hey, have I just want to check it out. Yeah, have a blast. Totally set up yeah. for the drag strip. Came there. Ready to go. Hopefully he's back this year because we're going to be drag racing at lunchtime. He did come back once a few years later, yeah. and he had yeah, actually set up his car for like the Silver State or something. Oh, okay. And so it was yeah. a little of an all-around sort of setup on the car. So send us your single best reason of why your car's not ready for the track. Yeah. Or Top why? 10. Yeah. Why? Mine would have been why dipstick. your car is not a track day car. Mine would have been dipstick, except for they finally sent the damn dipstick. What was the problem with that dipstick? Couldn't you just put any dipstick in? But just put it in there and recalibrate it. Yeah, I could have. I could have done that totally. Yeah. Well, um, I was thinking we just kind of talk about the whole vibe of the weekend because, after all, besides just a, a track day on Thursday, I mean, there's just a whole weekend. So there's guys that come in. There's guys that come in from out of town for that. Well, let's talk about some of that. I mean, obviously, there's a track day on Thursday. But then Friday, um, there's a couple things that go on. There's a, a cruise up the coast that they do, uh, the Mopar Club does. Um, and then that evening, there's a, it's kind of a free dinner um, get together, and guys bring their cars over to. Uh, a free dinner? Like, it doesn't cost anything? Or? Yeah, there's a gentleman that has the movie car prop house up in the valley. Oh, okay. And so everybody kind of cruises in there on Friday night uh, at like around four o'clock or so. Yeah, I've never been to that. Have yeah, you? yeah, I have a couple years. That's okay. kind of cool. Yeah, you can walk around his lot, and oh, he's got that um, pretty cool. He's got different cars that have been used in different movies and stuff there, and so it's kind of interesting. And the facility is um, such that obviously they can store all that stuff. Yeah. Most of it's outside, um, and they have a lot of you know, parts cars and then they have shops that have you know a bunch of engines and stuff so they'll keep uh, they'll throw engines in cars and get you know knock out a, a quick car or, or a backup or do repairs yeah, yeah. on cars if they get damaged in the set and then they'll have some uh, some of the nicer stuff setting indoors and the, he's super hospitable you can walk all around the place you can uh, he'll have his employees there you can ask him questions about stuff check that cool. this, this year and he puts out a spread of food and you know, this, is the, this is like the, the cruise uh, ends up there or is it, does everybody kind of go home after the cruise and then meet back up there or how does well that the work? cruise is uh, starts off in the morning 10 ish or oh, something okay. like that. And they'll usually meet somewhere on the coast. Uh, in the past, it's been across from uh, on the hill. Pepperdine. Pepperdine. Yeah, thank you. Up in Malibu. And then from there, they'll cruise, go up the coast, go up through some canyons, uh, come back and have lunch. Dukes are uh, one of the places there on the on the ocean. And then that usually winds up, you know, around one o'clock. Yeah, they meet up over at the car place in the valley, which I don't have the exact name yeah, of. Of course, yeah, yeah. And that's um, like that's around four to five o'clock, and he's got burgers and that sort of uh, fare. Actually, and then from there, then go over to Bob's Big Boy for Friday night. Oh man, I love that. Friday so that's night. that's that's, that's that pretty place. awesome. So that's going to be a hopping Friday night. Yeah. So. People have been getting confused though because they opened a new Bob's Big Boy and it's in the valley. So it's kind of been 
that's caused problems the past couple of years because people you know, in and out of town, the they, they get confused the when they go to the wrong one. So yeah. hopefully people end up uh, going country. to the Friday night one in Burbank because that's the super old traditional, yeah. really yeah, cool one. one. Been forever, yeah. And then Saturday night is a Bob's Big Boy over in the valley. Oh, so there's Friday night is one Bob's Big Boy and Saturday night is another Bob's Big Boy. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. And so what happens is then, so everybody gets up early. Saturday morning for the swap. Yeah, and then oh, the, and that's then my favorite part. After the swap, swap yeah. all the swap people go in, cars, parts, trucks, whatever, and they get settled in. Then they start letting in the car show side. So then it's the whole Woodley Park thing. And then what's kind of cool is most out of towners stay at the Airtel um, that get organized ahead of time. Yeah. And then I don't know if you've been over there, but that's real. Actually, a lot of fun. I'd never been over there um, till last year, mm -hmm. and um, it's kind of a fun place. They have a great bar area. They have a great pool lounge area, okay. so you can go over there and get some food, drinks, and then you can pick up and move that outside by the pool. Hang out, have a good hang time, out, talk cars, talk cars, have like some food and drinks do. over there, and it's um, so that was actually a lot of fun. Plan on probably doing that again this year, and then Saturday night everybody gets freshened up, and then goes to either to usually several places. That Bob's Big Boys one place, then there's a couple of other um, bars. Um, and Aaron or Junkyard Hero took us to a place over in Eagle Rock, which was a bit of a trek, but it was kind of cool. But there's it's LA, so there's tons of places like that. Mm -hmm. So you kind of there's lots of options. You just kind of see yeah. what people are talking about. Then um, Sunday, it's sort of a repeat on the SWAT. Go back, things are a little cheaper, uh, and What's a little bit less stuff cheaper, to look yeah. over. And um, you know, then there's the, the car show side as well. Sunday also. Sunday as well, yeah. There's um, Mike Ritz from the Oregon is bringing, coming down. He hasn't been in for eight years. Yeah, the um, with the Red Barracuda. Yeah, yeah. The Road Race Barracuda that does all the vintage racing. He's got his car completely freshened up. The guy that raced with us, Brian, is thinking about flying in. He's wow. going to be working in Arizona. Oh, that would be cool. And he's looking at uh, coming out and driving our cars. He, so he, he was said to make sure you have your car running. So, so he could, yes, that way, drive. whenever yeah. I need to drive mine a little bit, he can he jump in the car. Yes, that yeah. sounds good. So uh, please, you know, we consider you know, get that thing ready to have go. your car run. Yeah. Keep gas in it too, if you could. Oh, I definitely will. Yeah. Uh, actually, you know what, He's, it's a, might be a business trip. He might be able to maybe bring your gas mm -hmm. empty and maybe he can keep it topped off. Yeah. At the, at the track. yeah, business expense. Yeah. yeah, there you go. That's a good idea. So, um, and then uh, Rick, Rick, uh, yes, yeah, so Rick is coming. He's, yeah. he's coming. He's working on uh, getting the car ready. Getting his car ready. He hasn't broken in the engine yet, and I don't know a couple little small uh, details. He can break it in at the track. Well, I told him. I, I broke in what two? I broke in at least one cam yeah. at the, the, track. the trailer. One was on the way to the track. We'd stop at the airport, That's so right. we wouldn't bother anybody yeah. at two in the clock in the morning. We broke in the cam, and then the Barracuda. We broke that in at the track. Yeah. I remember because it caught on fire. That's right. And then we had to get the extinguisher out of the truck. Yeah. But everything worked out, Rick. So don't be worried. We'll yeah. we'll make sure we have the extinguisher Yours sitting right there. Yours probably won't catch on fire. And if it does, we'll have the extinguisher right there. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. well, that's not we're professionals. We can it, put fire. It didn't. It, it, I didn't uh, even have to repair anything, Rick. It was just a little messy with the yeah. exhaust, the yeah. um, extinguisher stuff. But not a big deal. Just cosmetics. Well, that's awesome, dude. Well, we're gonna we'll, have a we'll lot have to people. edit a lot of this. We're gonna we're gonna have a lot of people out. So we've got a good time. There's gonna be some the event that's gonna fill up. Do we have a, a cast? So we've got it. We've got we've got four or five people, not counting us, that are gonna be going to the track day. And we're counting us at that's six. That's a lot of track time. Or seven if it's four or five. Now, that's a lot of track time. Are we putting a cap on the amount of people there? Should we? I don't know. Ten or twelve. We should probably cut it at that, so it's not too crowded. Ten or twelve. I say we should go at least thirteen. Yeah. Maybe four. Fourteen. Okay. Fourteen people. Uh, fourteen. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. It sounds like bitching. Um, and the drag race. I mean, we've got the drag race. Yeah. Yeah. Cash prize for 16 first people in the drag race. Limited. Right? We're gonna Limited to 16. Can't. The first 16. So James and his dad said the magic number for bracket racing for 45 minutes is 16. 16 cars. cars. Okay. They they went through the whole you know. Yeah, the whole thing. The whole yeah time frame on uh, getting everybody set up and running back through and. Yeah, that would be perfect. Yeah. 
So we got that sort of figured out. When we have updates, we're going to have to you know, fire the camera up and get some updates coming back when, when we have updates. I'd like to get an update on your dipstick and see if that's, you know, oh, see if that works. sealed, if it's sealed good, if we got a nice interference fit. You think I'm going to have to fire it up and it looks like it might be dry outside now to go for a ride around. Yeah, I was really disappointed you didn't take it for a test ride. Okay. excited when it comes to gun stuff. You know, I got me a new uh, a new gun to put in my glove box for road racing. It's one that you can put in your glove box for road racing and drag racing. It's one of those dual purpose guns. And it shoots a 45 caliber. That's cool. Yeah. I mean, what kind of pistol is more stable in a glove box? Um, like if in, any pistol from going off in a, oh, in a, glo in, in a glove going box, off? you know, like you especially want, like if you're like at Willow Springs or Sears Point. And if I, you want to just have it in there, you know, you have it in there and you would keep it there. You know, I would definitely get something uh, with a dovetail safety. Okay. Yeah. All right. Are those more aerodynamic? Like if you were doing yeah. an open wheel? It, open, open wheel, wheel racing? Yeah. It'd be more for open wheel Because like, you wanted to tie wrap it on this to the roll bar or something in an open wheel car that doesn't have a glove box? That's exactly, yes. Okay. You're, you're correct in assuming so. What kind of caliber would be better? You think for like kind uh, um, of I would do a Desert Eagle if you're cal like shooting from a moving car, F 50 caliber, uh, 50, 50 caliber pistol. Yeah. Do they have that in a subcompact? Of course. I think it only comes in subcompact. You think they'll let me see if it'll fit under my pants? And now, can you reach the glove box, the driver's seat, and your AMX? Well, let's see. Are we going to tie wrap it? To only the on left hand turn dash. Hard left hand turns, I can reach the glove box. But when I'm in a right hand turn or slide, I have a hard time reaching over there too. So. 